Space, the final frontier, a land that humanity has never seen before. Don't go to space! <laughs> so here we are on the International Space Station. I don't know why they made it so small. It's actually really uncomfortable to move around in here. They couldn't have made it a little bit better. I mean, we are in space. Why, why would I want to live in space? At least add a window. At least, for the love of God. I'm all the way up here. I can't even get a nice view of planet Earth. This is, this is how internet works. We just give internet to the world. There we go, that's so much better, I can see everything now! Oh no, <laughs> we're plummeting to Earth! Oh, oh, uh, what is it, this? <laughs> How is the solar panel sitting on top of the planet? How am I sitting on top of the planet right now? I don't understand this. Oh, this is what it looks like underneath the Earth. Just gray and dull. I wonder how far this goes. Is this really like a sphere? Oh my God, the flat earthers were right. It's flat Earth. I'm embarrassed to say it, but they were right about that. I cannot believe it. Now that's the issue with space debris. It always falls back down to Earth, gets stuck in the atmosphere, never to be seen again. And it just sticks right in there. That don't even make any sense, dog. Space kind of sucks, dude. It's just, like really boring in space. And, you know, all, all there is to do is die. Among Us on the ship, I knew it wasn't a good idea. I knew it wasn't a good idea to come to space. Are you the imposter? I think he was. Imposter! Uh, which one of you did it? Which one of you destroyed the space station? I am in the process of making a house on the top of the space station. Don't judge me, okay? It's not as airtight as the capsule, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna be chilling out here with the boys and y'all gonna be jealous when you're stuck inside that claustrophobic little room and we're gonna be just having so much fun up here in the uh, second in international space station. Uh, yeah, you guys are gonna be real jealous when it's done. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new and improved International Space Station 2. Here it is. We got a little window because I'm a genius architect and I figured if we're gonna be in space, might as well have a window. We have the airlock. It's work in progress right now. Where you gotta like add some boards and then, you know, break it down every time you wanna get back in. But besides that, she's looking great and she's strong among us protection. All right, we're gonna work on that, but you know, it's really easy to fix. Okay, the International Space Station is now gone. Forget everything I said. I have been using the Revenge Katana for weeks and I didn't know you could change the angle at which you cut things. That's so cool. How do I, hmm, okay. I wanna even slice this entire building. Oh, it worked. Will it stay at that angle? If I, it will. Interesting. Is this building not floating right now? What the heck? What's the big idea? I'm gonna cut straight through the middle. Oh my God, all the lights turned off. You're coming down. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it worked. We cut it like a piece out of a cake. Look at that. Perfect. Look at the detail. 16 times the detail. I can take the whole building? You can lift the entire building. What am I even doing? Oh, it's not just one building. It's the whole block. You can pick up the entire map. <laughs> oh, what have I done? What have I done? What? is happening. How did that actually happen? I have to see what this looks like. This building is upside down and sideways. I've never seen a building do this in teardown. Um, I, I actually don't even know how we're gonna get in this. I think this whole building might be, oh God. Oh, that's trippy. Might be a uh, physics object. Oh, this is the roof. I don't wanna go to the roof. I actually wanna go to the first floor, which is actually the roof at this point in time. Here we are. <laughs> I don't understand this. How did this happen? Why did this building fall like this? To the moon! We're gonna fly away. Oh, I slammed it to the other building. That's why you don't build them so close together! God. This mod right here, the ultra-clogged toilet, has been out for less than an hour. We're talking about 40 minutes ago, this was published. We are on the front lines of the teardown modding community. <laughs> Jeez, what is this? You paint this? Is this a prop? You can't even drive this. What is this? This caution tape cannot hold me back. Show me the toilet. Show it to me. What is wrong? Why are you so flat? <laughs> this is what's clogging in the toilet. Oh my dear God. Let me help you, sir. Oh my God, it's invincible. There we go, we got the poop. We can remove the caution tape now. 
we also unfortunately had to remove the entire toilet and part of the wall but hey no more clogged toilet we can remove it we can actually remove the entire house there's actually no reason to even live in this house anymore did you hear what happened to this house the toilet is clogged this will never do it will never do what's that we got an ac 130 inbound ac 130 uh, clogged toilet oh yeah we got a clogged toilet unclogging the toilet sir Godspeed. <laughs> I don't see any clogged toilet in here. Do you? <laughs> There's only one tool for the job, and that is the gravity gun. Look at it. It's like moving really quickly, and then it slows down. I don't even understand. Where's the gravity? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's how the gravity works. Oh, wow. This is really, this is nice. Stand back. Excuse me, sir. Stand stand back from the toilet. I tried to warn him. I tried to tell him. Stand back. This is a one-time operation. Come on. I need this. Get out. Come on. And let me suck up all the bad stuff. Get it out of here. Man, this is some tough poop. It's not, it's not letting me... There we go. We disrupt it, and then we gravity gun it, collect it in all the drywall, and then throw it into the sun. And that is how you remove poop from the toilet. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to come back to the barbershop map because it's really funny when they spin really fast, and I have some new tools that I would like to try. Now, the best haircut device that I have seen is probably the Revengeance Katana, if I do say so myself. I just gotta see which angle I would like to cut this man's disgusting hair off with. Okay, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a weekend style haircut. I know it's not, it's not conventional, but I think it'll be great when it's done. Okay, all right, can we stop? Can we stop the rotation before I reveal my masterpiece? And there it is, baby. Perfect haircut. I didn't actually think it was gonna work that well, but look at that. It's like a big C hook. I have so many more people. Uh, I will finish you up real quick. I know it's not what you were thinking, but I think uh, your wife's just gonna love it. She's gonna love it. Okay, let's increase the speed for the rest of these poor souls. Yep, get them spinning. They're all so happy to be here. You'll continue to smile even after the haircut. Let me, let me, let me promise you that. Okay, and <laughs> perfect. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna speed run it now. Uh, do you really even need a haircut, buddy? Here, I have a good idea for you. Beard! There we go. Uh, that actually did nothing. Let me try again. Alright, cool. There we go. And we're gonna haircut that guy. We're gonna go sideways. We're going for the bowl cut for this guy. And then... For the gentleman at the end, we got the air strength combo. <laughs> That's what we're gonna give to him. And scene. This is a new technique that the hair cutters are using nowadays. Don't worry, everyone loves it. Just slap, just slap him in the face with the scissors. You don't even need to open the scissors anymore. It's kind of crazy. It's next level stuff. I know you didn't think about it before, but yeah, it's technology. It's, fr it's freaking technology, dude. The future's here. And this guy looks like he got into a little, a little bit of mustard. Have you been eating the mustard? Don't lie to me. And I, I don't remember if the nuke ever worked on this map, but I really want to try it. Oh dear. Well, it ruined the platform that I was going to stand on and it removed his eyes and his teeth. <laughs> I'm scared. This is really scary. I think it's the lack of personality. There's no teeth. There's no eyes. There's nothing. Just a blank canvas. I just let the hammer do the work most of the time. Oh my God, man, you look, you look great, dude. Oh my God. Let's see if it works with this guy. I let the hammer do the work. Okay, that did not come out as good, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy's eyes? It's so weird. This guy wants the, uh, the, the lightning bolt haircut. <laughs> Get it? Oh, I didn't even think about this. Oh, wait, that was the wrong, <laughs> that was the wrong one. I'm just gonna leave it though. You <laughs> kinda looks like he's like, Whoa. a little bit off the top. You got it. I got you, I'll clean you right up, sir. I will clean you right up. That'll be a thousand dollars, thank you so much. You. And I think he's good. I think he's good. You! This is, this is OP. This gives insta haircuts. This technology. Never even, it's amazing. How did this man turn yellow? Let the smoke clear. Let me see him. Let me see him. He's creepy again. Maybe that's what happens when you remove all your hair and eyebrows. You just, you just don't look the same after that. Eventually his hair will just explode. Look it! Why did that happen? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your hair cuts a little sus. 
I'm, run I'm running out of jokes really fast. I have this amazing idea. I will give you all haircuts at the exact same moment in time. Yes, it's going to be fantastic, I know. Everyone's so eager. All eight of you, good luck. Uh, I mean, I'm not very good at being a dentist. I think I'm gonna hang it up.